this is big O and uh, today we are well I'm going to show you how to clean a throttle body um, thing sensor whatever it's called body manifold and it's very 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 dirty I'm not gonna I'm not exaggerating look see that shit all right I don't know if you can see that but it's stark so um, first you gotta take this over here off <coughs> that's a semi hollowed out air box I'll explain that later take that off um, pretty much use this Phillips screwdriver take these screws out here there's one there there's one there and then there's one over here you have to take all this shit off here to get to this one here but um, I'm using the stock filter for now just yeah so I um, just got the filter just got the truck can't afford to do a lot of things yet now we take this big fucker off it's um the air waster as i like to call it soon i'll do an upgrade on the air intake here not necessarily cold but better than what it is you know so you, uh, you can use a i think it's a seven millimeter or a flathead to take this uh oops wrong way a little screw off right there uh there's another one over here this big ass piece of plastic hooks up onto take it off from there these are 10 millimeter bolts here Right here 10 millimeter bolts there's two of them they take off there's a little pipe here wait okay here my hands are dirty and it's hot it's like 100 out here i'm in texas so um and then this is the uh, pipe for something i know this is pcb i think and this is i don't know what the hell that's for i don't remember but anyways um shit goes over here this is not done yet okay so don't judge me shit um now obviously we gotta take this mug off to clean it professionally. Semi. Now it's got four bolts. See them? Right there. One, two, three, and the other one's over there somewhere. Can't see it start. You take those four bitches off and it comes out. You have to unplug these connections on it. I did just did one. That one has a little pin on the side, like a little lever you pick up. It unclicks it. And then you can pull it out. The other one on top is a little bit trickier. Still haven't got that bitch out. But it gives, taking this off will give me room to take off that piece and then I'll be able to attack the other piece. And those are the uh, coil unplug I6 in line. Uh, so I guess we'll go from there. Those are 10 millimeter, by the way. Uh, so, you know. All right, so I got the four bolts off. I haven't got that fucking cable off yet. But fixing two. Now we gotta take uh, fuses 10 and 28 out. The reason why we gotta take these out, um, some people do it at towards the end. Well, I guess almost everybody. Some people take the power off this hole. They disconnect the cable, let it de the system de energize completely for about 10, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever. The reason they do that is because when they clean that shit over there, the throttle body sensor machine, uh, they clean it and it's like new, so the system is used to running on the old. Uh, you know, an old ass, dirty throttle body device. So once you clean it, it's gonna be like no, and it's gonna be like oh shit, what the fuck. So what you do is, so you can go ahead and just teach it from the get go. You deprogram it, the computer, somehow erases memory. You know, and then it does its thing and it acts funny for after you restart it, but then it'll come back to life after a few minutes and it remembers what it was doing after it relearns. So it was 10 and 28. I know this is blurry, kind of. 10 is a PCMB, 28 is the PCM1. Now you take them hoes off, and by the time I'm done cleaning it, it they should be, you know, de-energized or demons get out of them or whatever it happens. So that's what you do next. And now uh, this is the cover that's under the, uh, you know, the hood, obviously. So that's the fuse out the 10 and the 28. And I had to take this little clip off. I didn't break it. And look how dirty this motherfucker is. Look, goddamn. Now I, I inherited this problem okay um this is really dirty it's a sad day when something like this is that dirty um it's like caked on shit on there you know don't lose this clip gotta put this hole out the way or i lose it yeah let's get over here anyways um yeah look this shit is caked on all kinds of bullshit look at that shit man that's just fucking sad you know 
I mean, I'm not a professional mechanic or nothing, but goddamn, you know how dirty you're gonna let your shit get. Now I gotta take this fucking plastic off, clean this hole. This hole, I'm gonna leave this whole new watch. I'm gonna be like, damn, he bought a new one, but no. I would never buy a new one first because I can fix it. Second, because I don't have the money for it. Well, I do have the money for it, but I'd rather invest it in other things. So people can just afford it to buy a new one. Just be like, fuck it. I have a mechanic do it and fix it. You know, because they ball like that. But if you have that much money, you shouldn't be driving a 2002 car like this with this kind of problem. So again, it goes back to, uh, you know, fuck it. If I got it, I'm going to fix it if I can. Anyways, I'm getting too philosophical and all deep and whatever. Anyways, um, so I'm going to clean this mug. You're going to be like, oh, hell yeah, that's so clean. He did a good job. All right, y'all. So I took my mom's toothbrush. And uh, I need something, you know, to be able to clean this. I also found these cartons in the, in the trash. So I'm going to recycle these. Um... So yeah, so, thanks mom for your toothbrush. And here's the 30 SPs. Here you go. Now um, you get something like this because it's supposedly it's safe for electronics, you know. Because if you get like uh, you can get, you know, the carburetor cleaner. It's really strong. It'll even eat through cheap forms of cheap forms of asphalt, concrete or whatever you want to call it. I've seen it do it. Uh, so definitely you don't want to. The, you know this is a sensor in here and there's some relays or whatever the fuck in there to make this thing move on its own or you know however the witchcraft shit works but um yeah so we're gonna clean it we need this shit this is very important this little uh, i don't have my assistant here with me today this here is you know the little shit to spray it with it gets it in tight areas and also have this bitch to clean the outside found it my dog this is my dog's toy so let's do this. All right, so look at that now. Hell yeah, baby. Brand new, look at that. Eh, eh, eh. Hell yeah. Look at that. I didn't even know this thing was bronze looking. It's gonna be about 40 minutes. A couple of racks, half a can maybe. But um, I don't recommend this, not necessarily this um, can or brand. It's, it did work. But I didn't notice that it said quick, dries fast. And obviously, it's, uh, it really works, but it dries too damn fast. So, that's, I guess that's the good thing about the carb fluid. It doesn't dry that fast and it's stronger. But again, it, it can burn the, uh, melt the, you know, uh, uh, you know, the rubber things and electrical connections and all kinds of bullshit. So, uh, put everything together and see if this bitch starts.